Welcome back, everyone. In today's video, we are going to learn more sounds. Are you all ready? Our first sound is k. Say it with me. K, k, k. Good job. Raise your hands with me and snap your fingers as if playing the castanet, saying k, k, k. Very good. Let's try again. K, k, k. Now let's move on to the next sound. I. Pretend to tap an egg on the side of a pan and crack it into the pan, saying I, I, I. Very good. Let's try it again. I, I, I. Good job. Whoa, what do you think is the sound of this letter? Yes, it is. <laughs> Hold your hands in front of your mouth, panting as if you are out of breath, and say, <laughs> Good job. <gasps> What's this? Shall we pretend to be a puppy holding a piece of rag, shaking our head from side to side, and say, <laughs> Very good. Let's do it again. <laughs> Good job! Okay, what about this one? Rub your tummy while you think of your favorite food and say mmm. Mmm. Good job! Lastly, we have the letter D. Beat your hands up and down as if playing a drum and say D, D, D. D, D, D. Excellent job, everyone. Let's start on our story time and you can say all the letter sounds. Our first story takes place in Spain. The Khan family is on a trip to Spain. They hire a car, vroom vroom, and drive to a small village with a castle. On the way, they pass a donkey carrying a big bundle of sticks. After visiting the castle, they return to the village for a snack. Outside the cafe, they saw the same donkey resting and drinking a big bucket of water. While they are eating, they spot a cat and her kittens playing outside. Meow, meow, meow. And what's that? Some Spanish dancers came out and performed in the courtyard in front of the cafe. The beautiful ladies carry castanets and clap and dance, swirling their dresses around and clicking their castanets. Come on, let's dance with the dancers and the castanets and go Good job! Our second story happens on a farm. Summer is ending and Eric and his family are holidaying on 10 acre farm. Every day, they get up early to watch the cows being milked. Moo, moo. First, they get water for the cows. Then, they feed the hens and collect the eggs. They take the eggs into the kitchen. Ellie, the farmer's wife, cracks the eggs on the side of the pan. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, eh, eh. They all eat fried eggs for breakfast. Who is hungry for some fried eggs? Let's pretend to crack the egg into the pan and say with me, eh, eh, eh. Eh, eh, eh. There you go. I hope the eggs tasted yummy. Our third story happens in a school. It is the school's summer fun day. In the morning, the children do fun things, and in the afternoon, there are races. Helen, Harry, Hanif, and Harriet are in the hopping race. Mr. Heath starts the race. One, two, three, go! He shouts and waves his hat in the air. Helen, Harry, Hanif, and Harriet hop as fast as they can. It is a hot day, and hopping is hard work. Harriet is huffing at the end. <sighs> Miss Hopkins gives everyone huge drinks. Who wants to drink this huge drink? Say <sighs> with me, and we can drink this huge drink. Good job, guys! Our fourth story is about a puppy. Robert's family has a new puppy. They have to choose a name for him. His parents like Rover, but Robert also likes Ben. Robert can't decide. Robert and his puppy go to the bedroom to get his roller skates. While Robert looks for them, the puppy explores the room. Suddenly, Robert hears Rrrr. What's that? The puppy is shaking a blanket from side to side. Robert tries to pull the blanket away, but the puppy hangs on tightly, going Rrr. The blanket rips! Oh dear, says Robert, holding up the ripped blanket. This looks like a rag now. I know, we'll call you Rex. 
Kids, shall we also call the puppy Rex? Come, let's shake your head from side to side saying Our fifth story happens at home. Mrs. Morris and her son Marvin have invited his friends Millie and Molly for dinner. They sit down at the table awaiting dinner. I'm hungry, says Marvin, rubbing his tummy. Mmm, I hope it's spaghetti and meatballs. I hope it's hot dogs. Mmm, says Molly. I hope it's hamburgers, says Millie, rubbing her tummy. Mrs. Morris comes in, carrying their meal. Lambs and peas, say the children. Mmm. I like that the most, says Marvin. Mmm. What do you do when you see tasty food? Rub your tummy and say, Mmm. Mmm. Our last story happens at home. Dan is tidying his toy cupboard. He pulls out his teddy, his old donkey, and a duck. Then he finds a box of dominoes. He plays with them for a while. Next, he sees his yellow dagger, so he takes that out for a drive. Dan then finds a box of marbles and some dice. He plays with this for a little while and then hears his dad. Dan, have you finished yet? No, not yet, says Dan, and he goes back to the cupboard. At the very back, he sees his old red and blue drum. He picks it up and marches up and down, banging the drum. Shall we try playing the drum as well? Let's beat your hands up and down as if playing a drum and say Well done everyone! Let's recap on all the letter sounds we have learned today. Let's also do the actions together. Let's try it one more time. Remember to practice and I will see you soon. Bye-bye!